Welcome back everybody. This video we're going to discuss the histogram. So let's start with a bar plot. And let's look at a feature such as age. And this is percent with diabetes. And you know, we look at people who are zero. And you know, 50% of them have diabetes. And then we look at people who are one and you know, maybe 60% of them have diabetes. And then two, uh, 30%, and then four, maybe 90%. And this is kind of useful because this bar plot is going to show us trends. So it might look something like this, which might show as you get in your middle ages, there's a higher chance you're going to have diabetes than not have diabetes. But the problem here is, is that the data is so split by little tiny bars that we can't see groups. And that's what a histogram is for. It's to see groups of data. So instead of having zero, one, two, three, we're going to group everyone into a bin based on some range of values. We could have zero to nine and see that 50% have diabetes. We could have 10 to 19 and realize 40% you know, have diabetes. Then we could see 20 to 29 and all of a sudden, you know, data starts going upwards, right? And then 30 to, to 39, we get this huge spike. So now we can see a little bit more because we're no longer looking at individual numbers, we're looking at groups. And this is exactly what we talked about earlier with binning. So literally, this is just taking a bar plot and binning the data, which allows us to more easily visualize the data. Especially when we're talking about outliers, we might have a group up at the end, 99 to like 109, and normally we'd have to have a little bar plot for each one of those ages. And you know, it's not very visual, but now we can see as a group, anybody in this age group, what is the chance that they're gonna have diabetes? In general, I prefer to look at the histogram because it's not so continuous and it's more categorical, which is exactly what the binning process is for. <laughs> it's to make our data in categories. So the main difference between bar graph and histogram is one is continuous and another is not continuous, but categorical. So obviously I'm not a stats expert <laughs> and I'm sure someone on the internet will be like, dude, you missed this part and you still, you, yeah. <laughs> but I think this is a good introduction and as you need more data visualization, I'm sure there is resources out there. So thank you guys for watching and I really appreciate it if you subscribe and check out the next video. Thank you and subscribe.